Good morning, students. So I am welcoming to the next online video class, children. Have we learned that last class portion, children? Have we completed? Say yes or no. Yes. Good. Very good, children. So what are the topics? What are the questions we had completed in the last class, ma? Do you remember that? Yes. Good. First one. We learned that linkage, isn't it? The linkage, coupling and repulsion reaction. So there is trans configuration and repulsion, isn't it? So that's the experimental test cross we are completed. And then types of linkage. The two types of the linkages, am I correct? What are the two types of the linkage, children? Try to tell the answer. Complete linkage and incomplete linkage. Which person they reported in that incomplete linkage? Very good. Hudson. Okay. So that's the person only they come reported in that is the incomplete linkage. So in which organism or which plant they absorb this incomplete linkage children? Very good, it makes. Okay, so these are the some one more questions. So, I should prepare that. Okay, the next one linkage groups, isn't it? What do you mean by linkage groups, children? One of the two more questions. Very, very important two more questions. What does it mean by what are linkage groups? Very good. Linearly arranging the linked genes on the chromosomes that is called as the name is known as linkage group. Clear? Yes, good. Then there you have to be, if we are looking in a, some of the examples of the specimens. Is it correct? Yes, good. The name of the organism. So in that particular name of the organism, how many linked groups are there? I mean, that's a linked group's name. Equivalent to comes to that is the haploid set of the chromosomes. Understood now? So that's a number and name of the organism that also you have to be by got it, children. Sometimes they will ask, this is the one word based questions. Clear? Yeah. Then finally we had completed in the one of the three more questions. Very very important one. What does that differences between? Very good. Linkage and grassing over. Am I correct now? So this much of the portions only we had completed in the last class. Clear? Yeah? Yes. Then today's class we are going to learn about the next topic crossing over. Okay, the first one, what do you mean by crossing over? Do you have any idea regarding this children? Crossing over. So 11th standard you have completed this crossing over. What does mean by crossing over? How the formation of this chiasma? How will you forming in a bivalent chromosomes? What is the synapses? So these all the things we had completed in the seventh chapter. Do you remember that? Yes. Good. Okay. Yes. Good. So what do you mean by crossing over? Okay. The first one. So this is the biological process. Okay. So here this is the biological process. They produce in a new combination of the genes. Okay. How they produce in this new combination of the genes means the interchanging of the segments of between the non-sister chromatids. We know this homologous chromosomes, this two homologous chromosomes. So there they present in a that's a chromatids, that's a non-sister chromatids of the homologous pair only, the segments are interchanging. Clear? That processes, that's a biological processes, they are called as the name is known as crossing over. What is crossing over? Or defined crossing over. Understood? This crossing over, the term coined by that's a botanist name, that is the biologist name is Morgan. Okay? In the year of 1912, okay, so that year only they discovered, they coined this term as crossing over. Understood from Say yes or no? Yes, good. The crossing over, they occurs, they takes place in the functions, they takes place in the packeting stage of prophase 1 of this meiosis cell division only, the crossing over is occurs. 
purpose. Clear? Yes. So here, this is the two type of the crossing over is there. One is meatic or germinal crossing over and another one is somatic or mitotic crossing over. Clear? So let us learn these two terms. First one is meatic or germinal crossing over. Do you have any idea regarding this meatic or germinal? Very good. So here, this is the crossing over. They occur that is the germinal cells during the gametogenesis. You know this what you mean by gametogenesis. Clear? So that time they occur, this is the germinal cells crossing over. No? That is we are called as the name is known as germinal crossing over or that is a meatic crossing over. Understood from say no? The next one, mostly, that's as usual, they present this type of crossing over only. But rare condition they present in a mitotic or somatic crossing over. The somatic crossing over means, so this is the somatic cell. During the mitotic cell division, they occur, this is the crossing over. That type is we are called as the name is known as mitotic or somatic crossing over. Understood now? What do you mean by stomatic crossing over? And the next one is what do you mean by germinal crossing over? Okay? So you should learn. So these are the two types. Understood now? Say yes or no, children? Yes. Very good. The next one we are going to learn about this is one of the very, very important five mark question. Okay? Mechanism of crossing over. Explain the mechanism of crossing over. Very, very important five mark question. Okay. So, this mechanism of crossing over. So, this process becomes to some stages. Okay. So, this is the very one of the short process. So, this process of this crossing over, they chose this is the four stages. What are the four stages of this mechanism of crossing over means? So all of you open your mouth and see these answers. Okay. Synapsis, tetrad formation, crossing over or crossover, terminal initiation. Okay. What are the four stages of this mechanism of crossing over children? Very good. First one is synapsis, tetrad formation, crossing over and terminal initiation. In some times they will ask this is the tumor question. What are the stages across this mechanism of crossing over? So you have to write your answer. These four stages of this crossing over. Understood now? Will you able to say this one? Very good. What are the four stages? Synapsis, tetrad formation, crossing over and terminal initiation. Okay. Let us, we will see, we will learn the detailed study of this four stages of this mechanism of crossing over. Okay? Shall we learn? Yes. Good. The first one, synapses. So these all the terms mostly you have completed, you have completed in the 11th standard syllabus. Right? Once again, we will revise this. What do you mean by synapses? Synapses means, so here, the homologous chromosomes are they align right side by side. Then what will happen in the result mean the pairing formation they presence in the homologous chromosomes. Understood now? These homologous, the pairing of this homologous chromosomes they presence now that is we are called as the name is known as bivalent. Understood children? So this pairing of this phenomenon, this is the pairing of the processes called as the name is known as synapsis and another one name is we are called as the name is known as synthesis. Clear children? Are you understood now? Here, if you are looking, this is a synapsis process. Okay? If you are looking, this is a synapsis. In which stage, in which time this is occur means during the cytotin stage of prophase 1, the meiosis cell division first stage, there only they occurs this is a synapsis. Are you understood now? It's very very important children. What do you mean by synapsis? Synapsis means so they, they formation of the bivalent nature. Clear? So bivalent means so their formation of this pairing of the homologous chromosomes. 
So that processes we are called as the name is known as synapses or synthesis. Clear? So this pairing phenomenon or process is called as synapses. These synapses they come under in three types. Understood children? What are the three types of the synapses? First one is procentric synapses, proterminal synapses and random synapses. Will you repeat this? Yes, good children. Repeat it. Procentric synapses, proterminal synapses, and random synapses. Understood now? So these are the three types of synapses. They occur in this mechanism of crossing over. Where is the position to formation of this? This is a synapse, that's a pairing of this chromosomes. That is the Position only we have, that is the area only we will mention in these three types. Clear? First one is procentric. What it will be procentric means the pairness start from, okay, procentric. I mean, okay, which is the region? The central and the middle of the chromosomes, the pairness start means so that is we are called as the name is known as procentric. Proterminal. Terminal means end. Clear? So this is the, the pairing is start from, this is the telomeres. Telomeres means what? The end of the chromosome is, that is we are called as the name is known as proterminal. Are you understood children? Are you able to follow? Yes. Good. Then random synapses. Random synapses means the paradise is starting from that is anywhere of this chromosome space. So that is we are called as the name is known as random synapses. Understood? But what does mean by synapses? So you have to write these all the points. First one is how will we form this is the bivalent. That bivalent chromosomes, that is the bivalent formation of the homologous chromosome. That phenomenon is known as synapses. What are the three types of synapses? Are you clear children? Are you understood? Say so or no? Yes, very good. The next one, we are going to learn about this is the second one is tetrad formation. Okay. If you are looking, this is the photo. See, so this is the tetrad formation. You know this first one is bivalent form. The pairing of the bivalent formation is they takes place in the Prophase 1, meiosis 1 of the cyclotent stage. Clear? Then how will you form this tetrad formations? Okay? So here, all of you listen children. The each homologous chromosomes. Okay? The each homologous chromosomes. The bivalent, they begins to form, this is the two identical sister chromatids. Two identical sister chromatids means, so this is the blue color is, one of the sister chromatids. Clear? So this is the red is the another one. Opposed, so we are telling in the two homologous sister chromatids. Okay? These combining these two blue and red means so we are telling that name is known as non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes. Okay? So this blue alone we are telling means sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome. So this is the red alone we are telling means so that is we are called as the name is known as sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome. Then both is together we are telling means that is the non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes. Understood you right? So here the homologous chromosomes so there is the bivalent they begins to form this the identical that is a sister chromatids. So here they combined but I mean so these identical form of the chromatids they remind they held together in the central region one centromere. Now if we are looking this is the first first you can see this is the blue color how many chromatids are there children please count and tell me yes good one two three four so here they present in the four chromatids. Understood children? So this is we are called as the name is known as tetrad formation. So here this is the answer is how will you form this is a tetrad. Understood mom? Say so no children? Yes. Oh that's a each homologous chromosome the bivalent they begins to form two identical sister chromatids. 
So that identical system chromatids, they remains together in by the centromere. Clear? This, if we are looking, this is the stage. So this is the chromatids. So they how many chromatids are present? Four chromatids are present. Okay. So this is we are called as the name is known as this stage is called as tetrad formation. Understood, ma? Or tetrad stage. Say some more. Yes. Good. Next one, crossover or crossing over. Okay. Already I said in the which stage they occur. That is the crossing over, children. Yes, very good. The packeting stage of this meiosis roughly is one stage only form, isn't it? So here, this is the tetrad formation is over. After this tetrad formation, what will happening is so here, this is the non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes. So here, one or more point. So these are joining. Okay. The one or more points, the joining of this non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome at that area, so they represent the point this cross shape or X shaped point is formed. Okay, that point this we are called as the name is known as chiasmata. Are you understood now? The non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes means so this is the two non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome. The segment is the interchanging of this. So this red and this side of this blue. Okay. So they are only the exchanging of the segments. Understood children? Say yes or no. So in that the exchanging of the takes place of the crossing over point. So there the exchanging of the one or more point is present. Okay. That point so they accuse that X shape or cross shape. Okay. That point is we are called as the name is known as chiasmata. Are you understood? Ma? Then after what will happen? So then the breaking and the rejoining of this two chromatids. Okay. So here this is the blue segment is going to uh, uh, combining in that red. The red colors they combine to this is the area to joining of this blue area. Understood now? So this is the process only we are taking in a crossing over. Then how uh, forming of this chiasmata and then what's the things happening after the crossing over. Are you understood? Say yes or no children. Say yes or no ma? Yes. The next one. What will happening? This is the steps me. After this is the crossing over, okay, the chiasmata, they starts to move, this is the end of this, I mean, so that's the terminal end of the chromatids, I mean, so here the crossing over is, takes place, after the crossing over, there is the, I mean, there is the exchanging of this uh, chromatids now, so that one, the chiasmatas are, they move, starts to move to the end of this, that's a, I mean, that's a terminal regions of the end of the chromatid children. So that is the processes we are called as the name is known as terminalization. What does it mean by terminalization? So the crossing over, the chiasmata, they starts to move towards, that is the terminal end of the chromatids. Clear children? That processes we are called as the name is known as terminalization. Understood now? Say yes or no? As the reason what will happen? So here there is a complete separation of this homologous chromosomes. Okay? So this complete homologous chromosomes means we know this. So already here they, that is a chiasmatas moves to the end of this uh, terminal, end of this uh, chromatic. So their formation of the terminal initiation, the next separation is there. So this is a metaphase 1 stage only. So here this is a blue color of this chromo chromosome. So this is red color. I mean the exchanged segments along with it, they are separated. Clear? Then finally, so they produce us in a, this exchange. This is the chromatids. They can produce us in a new recombinant, new varieties. Understood ma? Then the daughter cells, they are forming in a four haploid cells. You know that, isn't it? That's a four haploid cell. 
so here we will get there is a two recombinant i mean so here this is the blue end with the presence in red color so here this is the chromosomes so they red color the end with the presence blue color okay then these two are parallel form okay so here they separated into four haploid cells still right so there is a daughter cells they are forming in a two parental type so this one and this one with a two parental type the center of this chromosome these two are they comes under in a there is a recombinant type are you understood ma so this is the mechanism they are explaining in the crossing over functions clear very very important one of the five mark question children if you are asking this question answer first you have to be write what are the four stages of this crossing over after you have to be explain all the four stages the explanation understood say some more children yes very good the first one what is mean by crossing over the next you have to be write the board in the one of the five mark question mechanism of crossing over then after that we are going to learn about this is the importance of crossing over the crossing over of sticks please in an organism means what is the importance what are the significance of this crossing over crossing over means mostly in all the organisms they take place in the crossing over like that is the bacteria fungi and yeast higher plants animals so all over most of the organism they take place in a crossing over function so already you know this is the crossing over function so they exchanging of the segments am i correct ab exchanging of the segments means so they can produce us in a new varieties am i correct children the new combinations are produced so that is the that is play a major important role for this evolution clear the next importance of this crossing over means if we are learning this is a crossing over the genes are they arrange linearly on the chromosomes okay so if we are the crossing over studies that are the showing of this the genes are they arranging in a linearly are they arranging for that is a chromosomes area the next one so this is a frequency they find out the of this frequency of the crossing over that is they helps that these two only the genetic map will be made clear children the next one the crossing over they helps to the cell mechanism of gene actions okay the crossing overs they helps to understand in the cell how to the gene mechanism is going so that is the mechanism of gene action that is very much understand through this is the crossing over function understood ka the next one finally we are getting in the, the useful new recombination varieties or there's a new useful new recombination young ones means the young ones are formed means the offspring are formed means so there so that can be used for this plant breeding area okay that's a plant breeding field we can get it in that is a very new useful the recombinations that is a items or our product or we are eating clear children right? so these are the some of the importance of crossing over okay so this also another one very very important for our question so today's class i am going to give this is the two five mark question children right? and another one more three mark question we mining things we should go through that is the one word based okay first one define crossing over second one explain the mechanism of crossing over everything you want to write including this diagram children okay so this is the diagram alone no need to draw this is the sleptonimal complex so that is no need so this diagram fully you need to draw this five mark question okay then after that so the one of the five mark question importance of crossing over or significance of crossing over okay you must prepare these two questions learn and write it in your class of note okay thank you students thank you thank you very much